In today's video, we're going to be talking about the habits that you can start to implement to level up in 2023. Now, I'm sure you would have seen so many videos on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, talking about habits, especially this time of year. And there's a reason for that, and is a good one. Your habits have the power to make or break you. I don't want to sound too dramatic, but it's absolutely true that the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your habits. So it's the things that you do every single day that add up to create either the life that you dream of and that you want and that is going to make you happy or it's going to create a life where you spend your days wishing you had done things differently and no one wants that. We only get one shot and we better get it right. Starting with habit number one. This is a huge one in terms of making that internal shift and getting your mindset in tip-top condition for you to then be able to go out there and actually take action. And I'm talking about challenging your language. You need to get into the habit of challenging the way that you talk to yourself, noticing the things that you say and the impact that they have on the way that you feel and then on the things that you do. I'm going to give you the two that I'm focusing on this year. Number one is to swap I can't with I won't. When you say I can't, you are implying that there's a limitation put upon you. There's a reason why you either don't have the skills, capabilities, mindset, confidence, resources to be able to do something that you want to be doing. Instead, when you say I won't, you are essentially implying that you're making a choice. You are taking responsibility and ownership and choosing not to do something. Now, why is this so important? If you tell yourself you can't, you are consistently perpetuating this idea that you are somehow a victim or you are somehow not equipped, not empowered, not skilled enough to actually do the things you want. Whereas when you take ownership of the results that you're getting, of the choices you're making, you're saying, I'm taking responsibility for this and I'm taking ownership and I'm going to make sure that I find a way to do this if I choose to. The other swap I am making is from should to could. When you use the word should, what you're essentially saying is that there's an expectation. I should be creating more content or I should be a better communicator. I should be a better business owner. I should be further ahead in my career and my relationships than I am. And all of those are expectations, either placed on you, by you, or by other people. When you swap that to could, what you are doing is again, you're giving yourself the power of choice. You are reminding yourself that you get to choose how your life pans out. So I could be creating more content, but currently I'm prioritizing my mental health. I could be further along in my career, but I've enjoyed taking time out to go traveling and spend more time with my family and my kids. I could be a better communicator and I'm currently looking at ways that I could improve that skill. Ultimately, what we are doing is we are teaching our brain that we have complete ownership and choice when it comes to the life we are going to be living, even if the circumstances don't always allow us to feel that way. Habit number two, and again, this is a brilliant one to start building that strong, resilient mindset to start really leveling up your confidence so then you can level up your life. And this is to ask yourself the following question. This is good because. We will all experience setbacks, problems, challenges, traumas, things that come out of nowhere unexpectedly and throw us off track. And when that happens, and it will because such is life, I want you to be able to teach yourself the skill to look for the positive in that experience or if that's too much of a stretch, to at the very least look for the lesson. Everything teaches you something. Hard times still teach you something about yourself or about life. They might teach you that you are a survivor. They might teach you that you're way more resilient than you ever thought you could be. They might teach you how to do things differently 
the next time. They might teach you how to pick yourself up and try again. So develop the habit of asking yourself this question and I promise you, you are going to feel more confident than ever before. Because ultimately what is happening is that every event in your life is building up your character in one way or another. Habit number three is about you asking yourself another question and I promise I'm getting to the more practical habits as well. The habit is this, ask yourself, I know this to be a fact because. When you are leveling up, you are going to be faced with your limiting beliefs. You're going to be faced with negative narratives that have the power and the ability to take over your like, logical brain and push you over the edge into overthinking, into comparison, into doubting yourself, into questioning what you're doing, why you're doing it, whether you're cut out to do it. So it will be inevitable for you if you're going to be spending the next 12 months or the rest of your life leveling up and becoming the best version of you that you'll face limiting beliefs head on. Your limiting beliefs, your beliefs in general, are not facts but your brain will try to deal with them as if they are. So I want you to train yourself to start looking for the evidence for some of the things that you believe that you know are stopping you from being the person you wanna be, from having the success you want to have, from reaching the goals that you dream about achieving. Let me take a really common example here. So many people have negative money mindset blocks, most of which we have inherited from our parents, our carers, grandparents, and so on. Let's take the example of you wanting to achieve a certain financial goal this year. Level up your financial situation and start making that money to be able to afford whatever it is that you wish to buy. If you inherently believe that money is hard to make, that people with money are bad, that having more money means having more responsibilities, that having money means that you won't be able to trust people because these are the beliefs that you grew up around, you're going to be self-sabotaging the entire way through. So it doesn't matter if you go and set these amazing goals and you have this amazing vision board with a great car and your great apartment overlooking the water and great designer bags and a, a brilliant investment portfolio. It does not matter if you don't work on your belief system. If you are on a mission to level up your life, you start to level up your mindset. That is number one priority. Next three tips, like I said, are more practical. So let's move on to tip number four. If you want to up-level your mindset so that you can up-level your life in 2023, you want to get into the habit of getting your thoughts out of your head and onto paper or whatever note-taking accessory you prefer. Because writing things down, number one, pushes you to process the thoughts that you're having. In your head, thoughts have a tendency to grow legs, right? We tend to catastrophize, especially in the middle of the night when you wake up to go use the toilet and, you know, God forbid, you get back into bed, you can't fall asleep and then your brain will start to take over and you'll make up all these sorts of weird scenarios. Um, I do that all the time if you can't tell already. But the reason I am able to work through some of my negative thoughts, thoughts of self-doubt, thoughts of overwhelm is because I journal. I journal a, a lot. I write things down. So there's three ways I use writing to my advantage to remain in control of my mindset so it doesn't control me. So number one is journaling and the way I do this is literally free flowing. I will open up a journal, especially when I feel overwhelmed or especially when I feel stuck or I feel like something's wrong and I can't put my finger on what it is. I will open a journal and I will just start to write down the way that I'm feeling, why I think I'm feeling this way, what happened. And organically, I will start to find the, the words to describe what's going on internally. And by processing those thoughts into words, it helps me to reflect and it helps me to make sense of the way I'm feeling. But also it feels like I'm purging and I'm removing those thoughts from inside my mind and putting them onto the paper. So then sometimes I can shut the 
notebook and I feel better already. The other way I use writing to my advantage to up level my mindset is by doing future scripting. I might do an entire video on this because it's a practice and an exercise I use all the time both for myself and for my coaching clients. It's so simple, so powerful and a lot of fun and such a great way for you to motivate yourself. So future scripting is you describing an event or situation or your life in general as if it has already happened and as if it has happened in the best way possible. So we're basically taking our ability to imagine chaos and catastrophize and using it to our advantage in a positive way. So we're using our imagination to imagine what it would be like to be living the life that you want to be. And I've been using this for years and I actually went traveling full time back in 2016 and I remember future scripting in October 2015 and describing all the travels I was going to be doing and how I was gonna make it happen and the, the person I, I had met on these travels and I promise you everything became true. And at the time I was in a really dark place. I didn't fully believe it was going to happen but the act of me getting intentional about it helped me to then focus my actions towards that goal. I went traveling, I met my now husband and I had the best time of my life. So future scripting works. Like I said, if you'd like a whole video on this, on how I use it and how you can use it too, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to make one for you. And then moving on to the third way that I love to use writing to up level my mindset is through practicing gratitude. I am a big, big fan of the five minute journal by Alex and Mimi Icon at Intelligent Change. I have been using it for years. I have even bought one for my husband. Now we have his and hers and we fill those in. A lot of studies in positive psychology have shown data after data, studies after studies to prove how much practicing gratitude can improve your mental well-being, your physical well-being, your overall life satisfaction and they have a massive knock-on effect on your creativity, your productivity, your motivation and so on and so forth. So if you're going to do anything and build one habit to help you uh, with your mindset I would highly encourage you to practice gratitude. Habit number five and again this is a practical habit that you can start to implement that has a huge internal benefit for your mindset and this is to create vision boards. It will encourage you to think about what are the things that you really value that are really going to bring you joy, happiness, fulfillment and by having a visual representation of those things it will act as a positive trigger for you to focus your attention, focus your energy, focus your actions on making it happen. I absolutely love using Pinterest to get ideas for my vision boards and then using Canva to create a digital copy of my vision board which I then add to my computer screen because I'm at the computer every single day and that means that I get to look at it and remind myself on the daily as to what it is all for. You know, the hours working, overcoming problems, overcoming challenges, why am I doing this? Why does it matter? Why is it important to me? So it's a great way to remain motivated, remain focused. And it's also a brilliant way for you to set your goals, which leads me on to habit number six. And that is to start setting your goals if you're not doing it already. Now the geek, the key? the key with goal setting is to know how to do it effectively. A lot of people don't goal set, they simply create a wish list. And again, I am going to create a whole other video on this because knowing how to goal set is one of the most important skills you can develop. And a fundamental skill if you are the kind of person who wants to be the best version of themselves, who wants to be intentional about what they do with their life, how they do it, when they do it, and not take any chances, right? Not leave it to chance to kind of cross your fingers and hope that the life that you want is just gonna materialize itself, but actually create those opportunities, create the right environment, create the right systems for those things to come into fruition. So goal setting is a practical thing that you can start doing that is going to have a massive internal impact as well on your mindset because it is so much easier for you to feel confident and to develop the competence to do the things you want when you have clarity. And one of the biggest things that setting goals allows you to achieve is clarity. Getting really intentional about what, when, how, where, with whom you want to do certain things. Now I need to caveat this with the fact that goal setting alone, so just writing down your goals, is not enough. 
Goal setting has got to include action planning. I do not believe that just writing down the things you want is enough to attract them into your life. I believe that that's step number one and there's of course so much in it in terms of your energy and attracting abundance, attracting the things you want but I always and will always and will encourage all of my clients to pair that with action. Thoughts alone are not enough to change your circumstances. Thoughts paired with actions are what create change. I see so many people going wrong with this and trying manifesting and it not working out and it's because they only do step one and they forget about step two. So your goal setting has got to include action planning in it. Again, I can make an entire video about this and I probably will. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you are going to be implementing any of these habits to up level your mindset so you can up level your life, have the best Best year yet and then continue to grow and be the best version of yourself possible for the rest of your life and that's it for today bye guys